Hey there, very, very beautiful souls. Thank you so, so very much for clicking on this video. And look, I've got a quick, this is a very quick message, but it was too long to put in the shorts <laughs> again. So if you've clicked on this video, then there's probably a message here for you. This does feel like a love situation, but understand that we're, we all have different stories and the cards that came out best represent the collective energy of those that will click on this video. So it could literally represent any area of life for you. You can try to figure out where that fits for you, but don't try to force it. If it doesn't fit, just let it go um, and let someone else pick it up. Okay. So, um, I feel like you have really been investing into a situation or a person that is not making you happy anymore. I feel like you have been disappointed and let down time after time. And so now you are feeling, um, feeling as though like there's no use or feeling, um, maybe what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't know. It's like something here is like affecting your self-esteem in some form or fashion. It's like, because you, it, it feels like, it, it feels like a narcissist. Like you, there was a narcissist involved here that maybe at the beginning it was beautiful. It was great. And it was wonderful. And you have invested so much into this connection, but it's no longer making you happy. Cause I do have the devil here, um, on the bottom of the deck. So, um, so like you're at a place now, you're at a crossroads now where whatever this situation is for you, where you have to really, um, or you're being guided to rather to focus inside in, um, inwards, focusing on your own happiness and not looking outside of yourself um for other people or a situation to make you happy because you may be um trapped in a situation where you feel um dependent in some form or fashion for either <clears throat> financial needs or your emotional needs to be met instead of getting that from within yourself and so it is time to really reassess because we do have the um this particular card here, it's in the reverse and it's the, um, it's labeled limited. So like your efforts are, um, scattered, like you're, you're not, you're not really, or you're feeling like maybe you're wasting your time, wasting your time in a job or in a relationship. Um, and you may even be with someone or some, uh, that thinks that they know better. They know what's better for you or they know what's good for you. Even, you know, like you're putting your happiness in someone else's hands that feels like they know better for you. Um, and then I have the completion card over here. Some of you could have some cancer Leo in your chart, perhaps Aries over here too. And I got two Aries cards right here. Um, <clears throat> but this card here represents completion. Something here has is is done and over with, but with the tower, there is a fear of of um, letting this go, wrapping this up, not uh, not able to 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 fully move on to this next chapter, or not completely ready to say goodbye. Um, and so, but like you are absolutely one hundred percent like this this chapter in your life is finished. And I clarified the whole reading here with this time is running out. So like, you know, it's time now for you to make a, a decision. It's time for you, like um, in a reading that I got not too long ago where I was telling you guys like time to shit or get off the pot. Like that's that energy. It is time for you to make a decision one way or another. Um, for some of you, this is regarding like internal within yourself, like you, you know, there is something here in your life that is ready to close up. Like you are ready to end um, this chapter and move on to something else. But there is the fear that maybe you're not ready. You you know, and there is some sort of fear holding you back. It could be finances as well, or like your um, living situation. Your um, uh, yeah, something here to do with you, like your living situation, your home. Uh, you may be um, um, also like waiting outside yourself like it you 
um, whether or not you move on or not has something to do with something that's happening outside of yourself. Like you may feel like you have no control over it. You know, like it could be financially, it could be regarding like, you know, a move or relocation, waiting to hear news back. Um, and so like you are, it is time now for you to be completely open and honest with yourself about this situation and make a decision. And the, all these cards came out in the reverse and we've got the two of swords here again in the reverse. And that is like, you know that you need to make a choice. You need to make a decision. You know that something has got to give, something has got to change. And you are, compl and it even says right here on this card, ready to make a change. And I have this card right here on the bottom of the deck, which does represent walking away. And it, and it very much gives off eight of cups energy. So like, you are ready to walk away from something, but you may not be, um, like, the, like you may not, um, be ready to leave, or it's like, you may have to leave behind, like, some sort of security. You may have to leave behind, like, financial security, or some sort of comfort, or, so you know, somebody that once gave you comfort, or something that once gave you comfort, like, you may have to leave that comfort behind, whatever that is, so that you can build a better life that is right for you, that is better for you, um, emotionally, mentally, financially, and while it is a little scary um, and you may even have to like uproot your entire life and and that may be scary you may have to make changes you know maybe it isn't like moving or relocating maybe it's within yourself you may have to make some massive you know changes but there's definitely this sense of like time is running out right now something needs to be done something needs to change like right now um, or there's going to be like some sort of inevitable ending that the universe really takes the choice out of your hands and forces this, forces your hand. Um, this is not to bring you fear, but, but to let you know how much power you truly have. And the universe is supporting you. The universe wants you to be self-assured with this blooming card, wants you to take action knowing that success is assured for you, even though it may be scary. It's time for you to say F you and to leave something. Look, you may have to look security here and then going places. So, and then there, there we have the completion here. So, or no, that's competition. Sorry. But, um, but there may be a Sagittarius or Capricorn energy that may see you as competition, but also this is you just being very strategic in making your plans, you know, and playing your cards right. Um, and ultimately like having the upper hand over the situation here. So, um, this is what I have for you. And, um, I will post um, the daily reading, the regular daily reading um, later um, this evening um, or this afternoon, <laughs> but, um, but keep an eye out for the um, daily reading. And if you are interested in booking your own personal private reading, the info is always in the description box. And um, also, don't forget that I will be choosing a new winner, which will be in um, just a couple of days. Uh, on uh, Halloween night, I'll be choosing uh, two new winners for the free 15-minute reading. And you can even ask a question or whatever um, you would like to know that I can answer in that 15 minutes for you. Or you can just get a general message. Um, also, I'll be choosing a winner for the uh, tarot cards that was donated to this channel by the Abyss Tarot, and that is called the Soul Season Tarot Cards. Um, and so there's all kinds of cool little goodies that are in the bag that, um, in the package that was sent to me from the Abyss Tarot to send to you. It hasn't been opened or messed with or anything. So, um, yeah, um, but this is what I have for you, and I will see you guys a little bit later for the daily collective reading, and the Divine in Me bows to the Divine in You. Namaste.